Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to fix a faulty graphics card error. We're going to be taking a look at how to fix this common error code that you see here. This one is called video DXG kernel fatal error. There's also other ones like error 43 and a bunch of other error codes that you may be receiving when you're using your graphics card playing games and other things like that. You can end up with blue screen of death. Here's a blue screen of death readout of this error code using the program who's crashed. And you can see here it's telling us the video DXG uh, kernel fatal error. This is related to the C Windows System32 drivers DXG krnl.sys file. This is a graphics card kernel DirectX issue. And you can see because it's related in the driver section, it could be a DirectX driver issue, or it could be some sort of issue related to your graphics driver. So you need to determine whether it's going to be a software issue or whether it's a, a hardware issue, which is a failing graphics card. Are you getting artifacting on the screen when you're playing games or using your GPU? This is a sign that your graphics card is failing. It could be related to drivers. So right click on the start button and then hit run and then type in here DXD and you want to put IAG and then push enter. This will open up the DirectX diagnostic tool and it'll say, do you want to check if your drivers are digitally signed uh, to check your drivers? click on yes so we can click yes and it will quickly check to see whether they're digitally signed now once it's done its scan it's going to tell us whether everything is working okay so just let that run a scan on the system you can see it says system and it gives a load of information about the current date and time the computer name operating system language and system manufacturer and a bunch of other stuff like the BIOS version and the processor memory and other stuff like that so once you've done that, click on next, and then you can see display one. If you've got one monitor, it'll say just display one. I've got two monitors and you can see here, no problems found. If you're having an issue with your DirectX or having an issue with your card, it will have an issue here. Sometimes it will say error 43 or other types of error codes will be posted in the notes area. So this should be the first place you're checking for errors or problems with your graphics card or drivers. And you can see here, when you go through, it gives you some information about what's going on with your system. So I don't have any error codes on here, but if it was related to a particular error, it should show up something like this. And you can see here the problem with the NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super, it says error code 43. This can be due to bad uh, graphics card or some sort of issue or bias issue or loads of other problems that you need to determine whether it's going to be a software issue or hardware issue. So the first thing to try is installing the DirectX driver from Microsoft's website. You can download it for free. I'll leave the link in the video description. Uh, get that installed and hopefully this might resolve your issue if it's to do with a DirectX issue. Uh, sometimes this doesn't work. Once you install it, you can restart the PC. You'll see here that they want to bundle in the install Bing bar on here. That's a potentially unwanted program and Microsoft should know better then bundle this in with a driver. So if you don't want to do that, make sure you remove that tick. Once that's done, it will start to install all of the components that it needs and then click finish. Once that's done, you should be good to go restart the system and check it again to see if the error code goes away. You can now go into uh, device manager by right clicking on the start button and then go to your display adapters and you should see something like this. If you've got any issues on there like yellow exclamation marks or other issues like that, then there's another problem and you need to try to work out a way to fix it. First off, go to the properties tab, right click, go properties, and it should say this device is working properly. Check your drivers and make sure you're using the latest drivers. And uh, you can also check the driver version here as well. So sometimes updating a driver can cause an issue and you can always try to roll back your driver if there's an option. And this will go back to the driver that you had before, which was working correctly. So try that as well, just to make sure that it's not a driver issue. Also, if you're outdated, try updating your driver and also try uninstalling your device. I'll show you how to do that properly. So go to events and go down here and you can view all events. This will open up the event viewer and this will give you plenty of information about what's going on with your graphics card and what's going on with your system. You can see it's related to the NVIDIA graphics card here. If it's AMD, there'll be AMD in here as well. And it will give you all the information that you need. So if there's any red or issues 
with the card, it will show up in here. And you can write these information down and do a search for it and try to work out what's going on with the system. If you're seeing error codes like this, error code 43, or you're seeing a yellow exclamation mark on the driver, then there's a problem. And this could be a BIOS issue. This could be a driver issue. It could be loads of different things. And you need to determine what's going on with your system. I would advise you to uninstall the driver correctly using DDU. You can download this for free. It's a driver uninstaller utility, which you can basically uh, uninstall every remnant of that driver to make sure that it's all out off the system before you go and reinstall the new driver. So let's go ahead and I'll show you exactly what to do here. So go to the download section and let it download. Open up the uh, zip file here and we're going to extract it onto the desktop. This is the right here. So you should see there's two folders inside here. The one we're interested in is this one and it's a double zip file. So you need to drag this out and then we can unpack it. So let's go ahead and double click on this one and it will unpack it to our desktop. So let's go and extract and it should leave a folder on the desktop. There we go. Inside that folder, that is the file that we need. So I'm going to delete this other one, go inside here and I'm going to open this up. So in here, we'll see the display driver uninstaller. So we can uh, run this on our system and this will open up this box here. It's going to give you a bunch of information here saying that basically you use this at your own risk and there's a bunch of other information in here like backing up your data and all that sort of stuff. So once you agree to these terms, you can click OK. If you don't agree with it, then don't use it. Simple as that. So click OK and then we're going to move on. So this will open up the options box here. So down the bottom here, prevent downloads for, of drivers from Windows updates. This is important because sometimes you can have an issue with Windows updating drivers and they're old drivers and they can conflict. So we don't want that happening. I'm going to put the check marks in all of the NVIDIA section here because this is an NVIDIA card. But if it's AMD, you can use the uh, AMD section here to remove all of the AMD's uh, drivers. Or if it's Intel, vice versa. So let's just go ahead and click close. And it will now say that it's detected that we're not in safe mode. It likes to remove all of the drivers in safe mode. If you don't know how to get into safe mode, I'll quickly show you so you know how to do it. You should really remove it from safe mode, but I'm not going to go into safe mode and do it because obviously this is just a tutorial. So go down to the search box here and type MS config. Now there's easier ways to get into uh, the safe mode, but this is another way you can do it. And this is just easier for me to show you this way. This will open up the system configuration here. Go to the boot tab and then see in the options section here, down boot options, put a check mark into safe boot and it will be minimal as you can see here. And this will allow us to boot into our safe mode with minimal uh, privileges here. Click apply and click OK and then reboot into safe mode. Once you've done all your stuff, you can go back into MS config and put it back to normal boot. Once you're in there, go to the select device type. We're going to go GPU here. Mine's an NVIDIA, but there is AMD and Intel on here. So I'm going to select NVIDIA. And then it's the top option that you want while you're in safe mode, which is called clean and restart. Highly recommended. That's the one you need to push. Once you push this, it's going to remove all of the drivers from the system. I'm not going to go through the process because I've done this before, but basically just click on the clean and restart. This will restart the system back into safe mode until you make that change with MS config. Next, you'll need to download the drivers that you want to install. Go to NVIDIA or AMD or Intel and download the correct drivers for your system. This one is a RTX 2070 Super. So I'm just going to select the operating system and the type of card and then go and search for that driver. It will allow us to download the driver. Now, if you need to download an older type driver because this one is not working, then by all means, go ahead and download the driver from before, or you can use the rollback feature. Once this is downloaded, you can then reinstall the driver once it's been removed from the system. And this should give you a nice clean install of your graphics drivers. So you've got your DirectX installed now, and we now have our NVIDIA driver or AMD or Intel driver nicely done as a fresh install on the system. Now, if this still causes issues, then you've got a serious problem going on and you need to look into it a bit further. So first off, let's go ahead and go to system information here. And what you need to do here is you need to check 
for your BIOS version here. Now, sometimes flashing the motherboard BIOS can fix a lot of problems, especially if you've not updated the BIOS in a very long time. You can see here, I can see the BIOS version. I can see the motherboard that I've got here. And you need to go to the manufacturer's website and download that uh, driver for this particular type of board. It's always important to keep this updated if you're having an issue. So we are having an issue with ours. So what we're going to do is go to here and take a look. So make sure you get the right motherboard and you can go to the support page. And then what we're going to do here is go to driver and utility. Choose our operating system that we're using. We're using Windows 11. And then go to the BIOS and firmware. Inside here, you'll see some BIOSes that are available for you to use. I wouldn't advise you using the beta version because this version is too raw and too new and there could be problems that you're going to run into. Always use the version before the beta version. That's just my personal opinion. Now, remember the version that we was looking at in system information. You can see there's a massive difference. We're way out of date and they're up to 4,000 plus and we're on the 1,000s. So let's go all the way down here. You can see that this motherboard BIOS is way outdated. And you can see version 1005. And it goes all the way up. Look at the amount of versions that they've released for this motherboard. And there could be fixes in here for the problem that you're having with your graphics card. So always check the motherboard manufacturer's website to see what releases they have for BIOSes. And hopefully when you flash the BIOS, this will resolve your issue. Now, you might need to go through a bunch of different BIOSes, and I've made videos on that, so check out some of my previous uh, videos. If you want to see a new, more updated video on that, let me know in the comments section below. Next, you want to check for your Windows update. Sometimes there's update fixes for issues that you might be having, believe it or not. So it's always best to check for Windows updates. Once you've done this, you can go back into your search and type CMD and run this as administrator. This is the next thing you want to do for your PC. You want to check in here, SFC space forward slash scan now, and then push enter. This is going to check to see if there's any sort of issues with your windows. And uh, once this has done a scan on the system, it will give you some feedback of what it's found. Now, sometimes this can be enough to cause an issue uh, with your graphics card. So just check to make sure, because we want to make sure that it's not a driver issue. And you can see here already it's found the Windows resource protection found corrupt files and successfully repaired them. This could be related to your issue. So now we have an issue fixed with Windows. We need to do one more scan just to make sure that there's no issues as well with some other files on the system. So let's go and type out this command here, DISM space forward slash online space forward slash clean up one word and then dash and we go image and then space forward slash and we're going to go scan health and we're going to run this and this will do a check to see if there's any issues if there is then you've got problems with your operating system and this can be the problem that you're having with your graphics card so let this run through and see if there's any issues and once you've done this there is another scan if you have got problems. There is no component store corruption uh, detected here. So if you have got one and you've got problems, you can type this command out with the restore health on the end of it instead of scan health. And hopefully that resolves your problem. So now I can close this off. Now, if you're still having issues with that card, then the other alternative thing to do is try to put in another graphics card and see if the problem goes away. If it does, then it's more than likely your card is failing. You can always purchase a really cheap budget card online for around about 30 or 40 pounds and stick that in your system and see whether the problem goes away. You can also reset your PC inside the system and recovery settings, just like I'm showing you here on the screen. And what this will do is do a fresh install of Windows on the computer. You will lose your programs, but it should keep all your data safe. But it's always best to back up your data just in case Microsoft messes it up. Now with a fresh install using Reset This PC, at least you'll be able to see whether there's an issue with the card. If it still shows up after you've done a Reset This PC, then it's 100% an issue with your card. So just hit the Reset button and away you go. Another option you might have 
if you're getting error 43 or other error codes coming up is to flash the BIOS on the graphics card. This is out of the scope of this video, but I'm just going to show you uh, where you can get these BIOSes from. I'll leave a link in the video description, but you need to remember that you are literally flashing the BIOS on a graphics card and things can go wrong. If you brick your card, it's not going to work. So this is for the more last ditched hope and try to rescue a card. Now, if you've bought a used card off of places like eBay, then obviously you've bought a duff card or you've bought a card that's been, you know, reballed or something like that. And they've now the card is starting to fail. There's a common problem. So you can see here, you can choose your brand of card. You can get the card vendor and you've got the card model, the bus interface, memory type, memory size, and it will give you a list of all of the available BIOSes for that particular card. So this might actually be a save for you if the card has a corrupt BIOS. Again, there's no guarantee that this is going to work. And it's just another last ditched hope that you can try to try and resolve the issue that you're having. After you've done all of these issues, if you find out the card is starting to fail, it's probably time to replace the card, especially if it's not a driver related issue. So anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. Remember, a fresh install is always the quickest way to test to see if the card is bad. If the card is bad after you've done a fresh install, it's more than likely the card is bad because you've just got a fresh install of Windows with a new updated driver, and it's more than likely an issue with the actual card itself. Just saves a lot of time and a lot of headache. If you have a spare card to swap it out, that's another quick way of quickly testing to see whether the card is bad or whether it's a driver related issue. But follow those steps in the video and hopefully you should be back up and running unless you have got a hardware failure. At least you'd know that it was a hardware issue or a driver issue. And hopefully this resolves your problem. Anyway, that's going to be about it for this video. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support. Also, a special shout out to Jedi Buddhist, Phil's Computer Repair, Gary Belts, Albert Hewson, Geo Sam, and Welsh Tony One for joining my tier three group. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall catch you in the next one. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.